My interest is ballet, and I and and I believe that ballet, I believe that dance has the ability to change lives. It changed my life. It's constantly changing my life. And so I have a real desire to be able to bring what we do here in this building to other South Florida communities. So in Palm Beach, which we uh, actually Palm in, in Palm Beach where we dance, uh, Naples, Broward, uh, maybe Orlando, uh, so that other children, other students that are interested in dance have the same type of level of training that we give ours here with the ability to get into a company and then not have to leave the way that I did if you wanted to dance. That's ultimately the whole idea. Why should Florida lose its talent to another place when we have the ability to have that here? Now for that to happen, um, I have to grow the company and the school. It has to get to the next to the next level. For us to be um, the New York City Ballet or the School of American Ballet of Florida, we have to get to the next level. So one of the things I'm hoping to do that I would love to do is open satellite schools in these various communities at the lower, lower levels. Let us, let us teach your, those children, the, you know, the seven to the 14 year olds, let us train them with our syllabus and our level of training that we know and we do very, very well and we can collaborate with the other schools. It's not about a takeover, it's about we have a common interest, right? And then when they reach 14 or 15, that, the, that child has made a decision that it absolutely really wants to dance, then come down here and you're not sending them to Seattle or <laughs> you know, London or um, they're here. So that's what I'm hoping in terms of the satellite schools. The, in terms of, of, of the company, it's, you know, frankly, I would, I would love to be able to offer the dancers, we have 38 weeks of work, which is pretty high for a, a ballet company. I'm, I'd love to say we have 40 weeks of work. We have 42 weeks of work. I'd love to have longer seasons in Miami. Why is it that we're only dancing on weekends? And why do we have to start in October? Why can't we start in June? You know, Miami now is this vibrant, year-round community. It's not seasonal. It's not just tourists, from what I can tell. And so why does that continue? And, and so how do I break through that? Well, you have to break through it financially because you have to take these small kind of incremental steps to grow, to grow the company to get to a, to a point where you can say, we're going to do a performance in June. And we're going to do a performance maybe starting in August. Or we're going to, you know. So the idea for me is to constantly, is to get to a, a level of financial security where these kind of artistic um, risks can be taken to really be the, you know, a kind of um, a state treasure of Florida. Um, in many ways, I have to say honestly, sometimes Miami City Ballet is better known outside of Miami than in Miami. And why is that? That's what I want to change. That's what I want to change.